I've probably been playing music, you know, legitimately since I was, you know, 10 or 12 years old. Um, but, you know, always, always been a musician. Well, first I played guitar, um, harmonica, picked up a mandolin, but really I'm a guitar player, you know, and a percussionist. The biggest influences in music, let's start there. I was given a cassette tape by my uncle uh, when I started getting interested in playing guitar. And he gave me a cassette tape. It was Clapton's Greatest Hits. It's Eric Clapton. And if you know Clapton, I mean, he plays the blues, he plays, you know, acoustic style. You know, he also did a little reggae, which got me interested in reggae at a young age, because, you know, I shot the sheriff and all that different type of stuff. But, you know, the Beatles are a huge influence on my John Lennon. I mean, you know, there's no other answer to that. To me, uh, John Lennon was a, a pop icon, one of the first guys that wrote songs that it's just connected with everybody. Um, he was, uh, you know, a philanthropist and, you know, uh, an activist, and he had something to say, and so I'd say John Lennon. Best part about being in a band is having your band of brothers, man. Like playing music, playing music with your friends, and trusting them, and knowing that when you approach a song or you're playing live or you're just going to jam that you know it's going to get done right so being in a band where everyone trusts each other and everyone's allowed to do their own thing and there's no expectations that's my favorite part about being in a band difficult things uh just loading your equipment you know and, and being prepared and getting there on time those are the most difficult things you know my favorite thing about playing live uh 100 is that when i could see someone in the room that is connected to the song and cares about it and I can tell either they're bobbing their head, tapping their foot, whatever it is, I can tell that they've connected to the song and when they connect to the song, that's that that motivates me, um, especially on stage. You know, it gets you excited and, and I think I play better when I know that I'm connecting with people. So my, my goal always when playing a live show is to enjoy the music and have fun, because if I'm having fun, someone else will have fun too. And that's a pure blessing. Every time I go into a recording studio, it's all excitement. It's like, you know, you, you just are dying to, to finally put something down where people can hear you, you know, and, and my experience every time I get into a studio is, uh, is, is exciting and, and more or less, and, you know, we're just hopeful that we'll get something out of it. But at the same time, you know, it's not as organic as playing live, you know, so you have to kind of prepare for that and, and try to separate yourself from the studio instead of just being in the studio and trying to, you know, make a song this perfect thing. It's got to be organic. The best advice I have for an aspiring musician is find your buddy or somebody that's better than you are and play music with them or jam and hang out because I learned how to play music better by playing with other musicians. So if you're aspiring to be a good musician, get out there and play with someone who's better than you. And not just because of that, but because it's going to grow and it's going to make your music better. Inspiration comes randomly and most of the time I'm inspired all the time. You know, I'm fortunate enough where I live in a beautiful area. I live on Lake Winnipesaukee. I live close to the White Mountains, and I live here with my beautiful wife, who's from out west, and she's taken me across the country and shown me many places I thought I'd never see, and they've been very inspirational to us and songs we've written together. Uh, so I'm very lucky to have her support and have a great family like I do. What I'd like to do next in my music career is get back in the studio and finish up what should have been finished up a long time ago. You know, I've never really put out a full-length album, and uh, I think that's the goal.